Great things in the name of His Imperial Majesty, Jah the First. Great things to all of my subbies, them. All the new people, them to the channel. Welcome. Welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome, everyone. Why, people, you know what I say? Sometimes we tell ourselves, say, we tough. And we tell ourselves that we are hard. And we tell ourselves that uh, we don't have no feelings. We tell ourselves a whole heap of things. We tell ourselves. But, on top of that, we would be surprised if you know how much some of us are very loving type of people. And we have a heart. More than how we even think some of the times. Now, the reason why I said this, I'm gonna speed it up a bit, is because um, I've seen a video, somebody sent me a video, because I've got a lot of links down to videos now, you know. Trust me, a lot. Holy. Yeah, some of them relevant, some not relevant. But this one, me have to definitely talk about this one still. And this one, it kind of make me feel a way, you know. Make me feel aware, make me feel aware. And I'll give you the reason why it made me feel aware so much still. But in this video, this took place like a few days ago. In this video, you can see this guy on the floor, like he was shot. As it is said in the video, he was shot by the police and he was on the floor like. Try, I try for basically hang on for life, you know. I try for hang on for life still, and um, nobody never did it. There were people there, but as it is, nobody never willing to assist him in terms of making live. And based on what I heard, it was just a phone, him just thief a phone. And I run, and police run him down and shoot him. To me here, to what I've heard, I wasn't there. But regardless, regardless of how the thing go, as long as it's a phone him thief, whether he thief it from one school picnic, or he thief it from one big somebody, or he thief it out of one shop, or he thief it out of one bag, him wrong for it. Don't get me wrong. Him wrong. You know, for thief people things. Ideally, I'm not for thief people things. But saying that he happened that way already and he's a phone him thief and him get shot. I mean, come on people, at least call some former paramedics or something now. But then save in life now. When he can go to jail and then he can end up go to court and then the judge will give a sentence when he forget. Because you know what? Sometimes it's not all about kill, 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 dead, dead, dead type of thing, you know, because people, me a lot of people there on the scene, while he was there on the floor, I'd toss and turn, up, play and I beg for help. I hear people, man and woman, everybody, I say, boy, oh, make him, make him, make him dead, me not sorry for him, intent to thief, blah, 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 all kind of something. Sometimes, we need to snap out of that still. I need to think, you know what I mean? Everybody forget punishment based upon them action with them. Though. We agree to that still. But in this case, like I say, and I like say somebody life in tech, you know. It could have because maybe the person phone in tech could have resist and maybe have a gun and maybe shot that person or a knife and, and that person dead over them phone still. But say it never happened. And him a run and police shot. Yeah man. Make call paramedics and say they make the help him and Make him live though, when he can go to court and make him get some sentence. Because guess what? So, my thing we need to realize as well, you know. That's why this thing I kinda, it, it kind of touched me away, you know. We need to realize that sometimes when we save one life, we save a whole heap of life. That is the thing, you know. We need to do that. We need to remember that as well. When we save one life, we save a lot of lives. 
just by saving that one life. Because, you know, as much as the youth did wrong, we take the phone and thing. But if him life save, where him could have the opportunity to go to court and end up in jail. Him could have realized while him in a prison, or while him doing time, and him have said, you know, you know, that was a big idiot move. Let me why? Why me do that? How me do that? And in the time where him in a prison, at the same time, that person might be in there and come out as being a change. I'm a change person, change in a way where he could be very influential to other youths as well. Where him could have come out and him could have be a example to youths or a role model to youths and say, look, man. I've been down this road and this is what happened to me and it's the mercy of God why I'm here now. And you know what? One of the biggest mistakes I make in my life. And you know And what I tell you youths, you know, looking that way about. And you'd be surprised if you know there are youths who probably out there would listen to him and maybe I'll think and I plan for those certain things. But maybe by hearing him talk, you know, the amount of youth where him probably stop from killing somebody. Or the amount of youth where him stop from going to jail because of his experience. But when you make him dead, he might go dead and go with all of that. He might dead with all of that, you know. Yeah. He might go dead with all of that. So he he not have to talk and tell nobody and show nobody. Sometimes second chances is good still. Not all the while, but sometimes it's good still. God me say. You see, you have one life, you see, you have a lot of lives. And remember, people, we all have family members, we have brothers, we have sisters, we have sons, we have uncles, we have also. I know, I know that there are people who intentionally get up every morning and take, like, if you got thief people, phone and set, like, at the daily job. And then we get up and then we say, you know, go on 300,000 today, you know, half a phone. And their thing is to go around and take people's phone. And even if they, to them, if they get 50 grand for one of the latest phone, 50 grand, yeah? All they want is just six phones for the day, you know? Because them have them people are buy them for them, you know? For the clan, you know? Yeah? All they want are 50 grand, they just want six phones. And then ride one for the day and then look at it with teeth and boom. And then get them 300,000 for the day. Half a phone. Because that's for them lifestyle. I saw them plan for live. That's their job. Now you catch them people eh? No joke, no doubt. Them people have go straight to prison. Yeah? But then again, we have to bear in mind, sir. Maybe this youth here, maybe the first time in teeth a phone. Which... As I would say, he has no right to do it still. But at the same time, maybe I first time him do it, but maybe at the same time him what him was not even in his right sense of mind. Because trust me, people, we as normal people, we look normal and so normal and everything. Yeah? And we can't get up every day and do a business and do what we are doing. We have a lot to give God thanks for. A lot, let me say a lot, a wallet. Because you know what? There are people out there with so many problems and so many stress. But because them not tell you or them not talk, nobody no know. But them get up normal just to see them and go about them everyday thing and do what them for do and do what them do. But sometimes it come to a point where they say, um, every day can't book it because they will one day the bottom I got drop out. And the cup overflow. You will have your good, good pitney in your house, living, you know. With a boy or a girl, a good, good pitney. And they might go through certain things where they might talk to you and tell you about And they might go through it. And they might go through it. And you'll be surprised if you know, say, you're with them one day. And when you take a stack, your ear say, Your pitney, do so and so. And, so, and they say, Oh, come. My pitney don't do that. My pitney shouldn't do that. My pitney have to do that. But that child has been having some things bothering them. 
this guy that taped this phone, maybe he have something that bother him. You never know. Nobody never know. Yeah? I bother him. And maybe the first time that in the, this in the stack of phone, maybe he right. You know when he come probably in him right senses? And when he realized what I go on, maybe when the shots start penetrating the system and he start feeling and start feeling dead. And he must say, but what is happened to me? What really I go on? He must come back to his senses now. That time, sometime, it too late. It too late. I take a stop. Maybe his mother and father down my here say, you know, a police shot to us, just son out the road, you know. Four, in a T4, T4, how come? And in, in half a T4, can you have a phone and this and in that and that and that and that? Maybe I never even T4 if you want if you phone but in mind. Something that go on in my mind there. Where he's unaware of what him even do. Because when people start going off of their rockers, you know. Them level of consciousness is not there. They're not aware of what sometimes people do something and they're not even aware of what they might do. Until after something happened. You know what I mean? And we can't do quick for say kill, 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 kill. And you know, sometimes we have to say, you know, live, 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 man. You know what I mean? Sometimes we have to say, make him live, man, make him live, make him live. Make him live and come back, come tell the story. Make him live. Sometimes we have to do this thing. I'm going say, sometimes you save one life, you save a lot of lives. You understand? But when you kill one person, I make one person dead. A whole heap more people are going dead. That is how I visualize it. That is how I saw me see it. There are people out there who definitely, yes, when the time come because of how them live, them is artless, wicked, and them just them don't need saving, them just need to get rid of type of thing because them is off. They can't come. Them, some people would reach too far when they can't come back. No time at all. And when I see the thing, I said, John, you know, come here, me, me, me just start think everything, you know, me, I said, boy. People life no value nothing. Really. People life no value not even. A phone, as it is coming like you value more than. I mean, a man get shot and dead dead you know, for your phone. I mean, don't say the phone man probably take no worth not even a million dollar. No. And at the same time. In my eyes, everybody's life value more than a million dollars. People's life is priceless. To me, people's life priceless. You know, and I'm feeling for losing life. And people did it. And I say, no man, sometimes we have to think, man. You see, sometimes, sometimes we have to learn to put your foot in the other people's shoes. Sometimes. And until when they squeeze you, then you know how oh, it feels for whoever tight shoes. If you, not, if, you not, if you not try it, you can't know how uncomfortable it is. As I say, this boy, maybe I saw him do every day. Maybe I first time in do it still. Maybe he's not even aware of what he do. Maybe his mind, just in brain, just gone like that. You know? Nobody knows. But regardless of what's happening, in spite of what happened, you know people, we need to start showing love, we get back love. Because if we are going to retaliate with everything, with kill, 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 and dead, 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 I hit to come back to it, you know. I hit to come back to it. Because them have a sense, eh? yeah, people say, oh, you have to fight fire with fire. Not necessarily. Sometimes we have to just out the fire them some of the time too. You know what I mean? Nobody we no fight fire with the fire business. Out, make sure say, you throw something in the fire for out there. But make sure say, the liquid where you are throwing there and no gas or oil. Make sure say, a water. If you throw oil in there or gas in there, the fire will get bigger. And this is what happens when certain things
take place. When certain crime take place, and we say kill, 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 blah, blah, blah. All we are do, I throw oil and gas in the fire and I make it bigger. You know what I mean? And we, I know it's it, it kind of hard for some people to accept, but we have to look at the type of thing them, that people do and if the type of punishment where they really get is it worth dying for or is it worth make them live and go to jail and then they might come back to be a different person some people will some people won't some people can some people can't but i'm a strong believer in second chances but I know everybody forget it. See them give one boy um what did some terrorist act three years, then give him three years, let him out. Cause him the suspect one terrorism something. And then let him out, yeah? And that three year time in England, yeah? Let him out. Him come out, him still under police surveillance. Now, if you if you send somebody to prison for terrorist sitting, yeah? If you're gonna let him out. We well, you let him out and watch him fight. You let him out, that means you trust him or you say, well, he's doing time now, so he's a free man, he can walk up and now. But for the fact, you let him out to watch him. He said to myself, so you know what? I have a feeling that so maybe they let out that guy if you kill him. They must let him out if you kill him, because they probably say, I realize, so you know what, this boy now going to change. So we now keep him in prison too long for any food, because if you know 20 year or how much you're doing and come out him gonna be the same. So the best thing we do, we just send him out early and make we see what he might do. Because the first move he make, I kill him, I go kill him. And as he come out, there could be two tools here, so he's tab up some tab up to somebody, then police rush on the scene, shoot him, kill him. Yeah. Just come out of prison. If you terrorize him something, and as he come out, boom. So then give him a second chance, but the second chance was like either make or break. As it is, it break him. And that's how it is. And everybody I go make use of them second chance. But there are people out there who will and would love a second chance. You understand? Especially if you like something like a phone. Personally, I don't mean, think a police should have really shot a man, kill him for your phone. No. If you can get if you can get him arrested, yeah. But not to shoot a man kill for your phone. Unless the man with thief your phone and go back out and go and him and go fire a fire see him as a threat to you. Well, yeah, possibility. But if you just run him down and because you know and stop you go there and shoot him, because you know and stop or something like that. Or if you have one knife, you have one knife, you stay for one, you have one, you can't come near, you can stay for it, tell him you can stay, because you have gone. Shoot him, you shoot him on nine foot, when you can't move. When you shoot him in the chest and in the head, you kill him. Police need more training in order to deal with certain situations as well. Because a lot of the time when people shoot, shoot and kill, it, it could be avoided. That, in my opinion. It could be avoided still, you know. But I be a the training where some people get, or some people just quick for one, see what it feel like. It takes for the life as well. For nothing, these things are not right. So people, as I say, it's a sad situation. It's a sad world. But we could see if we can change the concept of how we are living. Instead of you say, kill, kill, kill. But we say, live, 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 live. You know what I mean? And, you know, as I say, you save one life, you save a lot of life. You take one life, you take a lot of life. Some people, you know, I listen for the comment them now. My people say, boy, jungle justice and them for dead and rare and them two teeth and blah, blah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that. But 
a lot of youths are bearing mind. I remember a lot of youths get or reach to this stage. It's not that they want to be in this position, but is where the system has cornered them. How will they find themselves in a system where a lot of these youths have creative mind, but they still have no help. A lot of them are love for the things, but still have no help. And sufferation is not a good thing. And being hungry is not a good thing. Yeah. So, when people are in desperate times, there are going to be desperate measures. And there's going to be desperate actions. And there's going to be desperate things taking place. As I said, my people, I know one love, enough love. I remember, jobless, don't stress over peace. And anything we do, make could be good. And most important, remember this one. We have to rise up, to rise up. Let me know what I want to think. Big up on yourself, man has a respect.